Everybody young, let's have some fun. Turn up. Turn it up. What's up, cowgirls? Um, today I'm going on a little photo shoot, and so I thought I would do a get ready with me, a little vloggy vlog. Anyway, I took a nap before, and I just woke up, and I am starving, so we're going to make something to eat really quick. And I just want to say that you should always eat before you go on a photo shoot, because if you don't, you're going to be cranky, you're going to be irritable, you're going to be lightheaded, and you're not going to feel pretty whenever you're on the verge of passing out. And eating makes you happy, and it's good for your body, and you'll feel way more confident whenever you have like some good stuff in your body, you know? Okay, I'm going to find something to make really quick. Okay. Okay, I am now eating a peanut butter sandwich on a Hawaiian roll, which is so good, by the way. Hawaiian rolls for sandwiches. Mwah. And then drinking this Coke energy drink that I found in my fridge. Um, it's a little interesting and confusing, but it's not bad. I'm also eating some grapes. All right, let's get down to business and do some makeup. All right, let's start getting ready. Um, also, I've had a lot of Red Bull, so this voiceover should be fun. Um, I washed my face. I use this Trader Joe's face wash. I don't know. It's pretty good. And then I also use toner to get extra clean. Um, I don't totally know what toner does, but I feel like I'm supposed to use it, so I use it. And then I use this oil, and I could not get it open, and I don't know why, because it's literally just a screw top, but for some reason it, I don't know what's wrong with me, but I couldn't open it. Um, and then I just put that on, and I like using like oil, and then moisturizer, and then primer, all that stuff before I do a full face makeup, because it stops you from looking cakey when you have all that extra moisturizer. Then I'm using Glossier Priming Moisturizer. This is like literally the best moisturizer ever. It cancels out your redness and also has like priming benefits. Also, I sound like a beauty guru right now, um, but it's really good. Um, yeah. Then here's my primer. This one just makes your face look all seamless in pictures. It like cancels out your pores. Then this part of my makeup routine is kind of weird. I only do this whenever I'm doing like a full face makeup with foundation, but I'll contour my face first with a cream contour and also get my nose and you're about to see me look like uh squidward tentacles um yep but trust me it'll all come together and then i also put highlight where you would want to like define your cheekbones and then i also put it on my nose because i feel like if you don't do that and you blend out your nose contour it ends up looking muddy and then I'm about to look even weirder. Okay, are you ready? I'm literally just gonna put foundation on top of this without blending the contour. And I'm gonna look stupid, stupid as hell for like 15 seconds, okay? But then you just like end up blending it all out together and it just like blends really seamlessly and naturally I feel like. And I don't know what beauty guru I saw this from in like middle school, but I've been doing it ever since whenever I do like a full face makeup and I feel like it does something I don't I don't know then I use concealer because I don't know I just feel like you're supposed to use concealer, but this Revlon one is really good for taking pictures. I mean, that might just be placebo because it's called Candid, but I feel like it works. <laughs> and then I also do a powder contour on top, and this looks so bad and muddy and gross, and I got embarrassed of it when editing, um, so I, I'm not keeping it in that long. But I also bake underneath it, and I, I feel like my makeup ended up coming together well, but my contour looked absolutely terrible right there. Also, I think I'm listening to Pretty Girl Rock right here, if you're wondering. That song makes me feel hot as frick. Literally, if you need a song to hype you up, it's this one. Then I do my eyebrows, because I'm doing my eyebrows. Um, also, sorry guys, I say this in every single video where I do my makeup, but I just am not good at talking about makeup after like two minutes. And then for my eyeshadow, I didn't really like know what I wanted to do. So I just sort of put like a brown in my crease and then like a darker brown with a smaller brush just to add some definition. 
um, I didn't have like a specific look, so I just sort of added definition so my eyes wouldn't be bare. Then this blush palette's really cool. I don't, I mean, I don't remember which one I used, but it was one of them, and I like this palette because it has like a lot of different colors, and I love blush. Look at me feeling myself. Ugh, I love her. I wish I was her right now. <laughs> my forehead looks so big right here. <laughs> and then I didn't show me putting on fake eyelashes because I cry every single time and have a complete mental breakdown. Um, here's another funny clip of, of me putting on eyeliner. I really like my face in this. And then I put highlighter on the tip of my nose because it's just so cute. Like, like it, it just like completes everything. I love it. Um, anyway, that's all I showed for my makeup, and now you're about to see me do my hair, kinda. Okay, now I'm curling my hair, and I'm not, like, I didn't really show me doing it at all, because I have no idea how to style hair, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna disclose any advice on that, because I just got this haircut, you know, with, like, these, like, curtain bangs, sorta, and I have no idea how to style them, like, I'm not used to doing my hair every single day, and so I just kinda wing it every time, and it tends to work. Some days I wake up and they're just like literally like floating on top of my head because I have a calic right in the middle of my part. But, um, yeah, I'm just like curling my hair. I don't know if I'm wearing like a hat or not yet. But yeah, and then I'm going to straighten my bangs so they're like where they're supposed to be. But I have like no patience to do hair. Like, I don't know, I've said this in so many videos, but I'm literally the most impatient person ever and so like once I get to like a certain point of my makeup I'm like this needs to be done already like I'm so tired and same thing with my hair I just get so tired and then like whenever you're curling it the heat from it just makes like you hot and sweaty and then I get stressed out I don't know in case you guys can't tell I get really stressed out whenever I like have to look pretty <laughs> I don't know why but I actually most of the time I have like a crisis after I get ready and I'm like, I don't like it. But I actually kind of like how I look right now. I don't even know you guys. We're trying our hardest, okay? Now we're getting out this janky straightener that was my sister's and like when she was in high school and I'm in high school right now. And she's 10 years older than me, which means this straightener has been around for like 14 years. But it gets the job done. Mm -hmm. Okay, sorry. I don't know if I said this yet, but the photo shoot is like western themed. Like we're going, it's like a field thing, kind of like at a factory looking thing, if that makes any sense. I don't know how to explain it. You guys will see it in the pictures. But she said like western themed and it made me so happy because of my cowgirls. I just feel like it's my vibe. So I feel like it should be good. Okay, make sure you unplug your straightener so you don't set your house on fire. Alright, fellas, this is what I look like. i got the little bandana tie. The little shirt that I've had since middle school from Hollister, but it's actually pretty cute. And then these pants <gasps> that are white. You know. We go. And then also, I might wear this hat. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna go meet up with her. Hey guys, this is Karina, and she's like the best photographer ever. She makes me feel super confident. And yes, would you like to introduce yourself? Hello, guys. I am Karina. I'm driving us to our destination. We're going to go to this really cute place uh, to take pictures. I'm excited. Yeah. And uh, whenever she texts me, she said we we're doing it like Western themed, and so my immediate thought was you guys, because cowgirls. So I thought it would be really cute. So vlog it, vlog it. Okay. <laughs> okay, we just got here to this cute little like. What's it called? I guess it's silos. Silo. Silos. Um, but it's like there's train tracks and cute things, and the sun is golden. Okay, I don't want to get copyrighted, but it was so much fun. Like, the vibes were just great. We were listening to all Miley Cyrus, and like, look at the excitement whenever we got a good picture. Like, it's it was just so much fun.
Okay, here are some of the pictures that we took. If you want to see them on an Instagram feed, you can follow me on Instagram and you can follow Karina on Instagram. She posts all of her work there and it's Ren and Rose Photography. And I'll put her website and Instagram all down below because if any of you guys live in the Houston area and you just seen your pictures done, I could not recommend her enough. She seriously just makes you feel so comfortable in front of the camera and like helps you with posing. And yeah, she's amazing. Uh, so yeah, that's basically all for this video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed, and yeah. Okay, bye, cowgirls. I love you.